Now back to True Colors. So, that's the whole situation. I have to tell you, I'm a little surprised by this. Come on, this whole thing is outrageous. I am shocked. Well, I'm not. There are a lot of people out there who object to this little family situation. <clears throat> it will seems to me like this Fairchild lady is nothing but a bigot. And don't cancel the field trip, Ellen. But, Lester, you see, technically she does have a point. I mean, she's saying that an interracial family is unusual and controversial, which... It is, and, and that visiting one isn't part of the kindergarten curriculum, which it isn't. And that she, as Jessica's parent, has a right to decide when her daughter is exposed to such things, which she does. Mrs. Fairchild is right. Cancel the field trip. <laughs> Lester, this woman is a bigot. She wouldn't care one bit about this stupid field trip if you guys were white. Yeah, Katie's okay, right. Hey, don't cancel the field trip, Ellen. <laughs> Mom, you can't cancel the field trip, no matter what the consequences. There, that's settled. Thanks, Katie. I'm glad we all got a chance to voice our opinion. So what are you saying, Terry? That she should sell out everything her life stands for? That she should cower in the face of racial prejudice? I am shocked at you. How can you be shocked at me? I didn't say anything yet! <laughs> okay, Terry, what do you think? <laughs> I don't know. Let me ask you this question, Ellen. What question? There is no question here. She's got to go ahead with that field trip. <laughs> These are the instructions. Shut up and don't speak. <laughs> Shut O L Trapo. <laughs> now, Ellen, what would happen if you just went ahead with this field trip? Oh, I'm not sure. I mean, the school's always been very supportive of me, but not on this one. I think they'd try to find some reason to fire me at the end of the year. Hmm. So, in other words, you give up the job you love cost the school a new library so you can drag 15 snotty-nosed kids in here to see Dad in a stupid toot suit. <laughs> that makes sense to me, Ellen. Yeah, T is right. Cancel the trip, Ellen. <laughs> but you can't cancel hey, the trip. Hey, No, wait a minute. Let me make something clear. You know, going ahead with this trip isn't just to see Ron in some stupid tooth suit. Well, man, what's stupid about it? It's a perfect replica of an upper right six. Honey, please. <laughs> But, I mean, canceling the trip would be disrespectful to my husband, and I can't Besides, the tooth suit was custom-made by... Honey, will you shut up? <laughs> I will not treat the man that I love with... with disrespect. <laughs> Ellen's right. Hey, don't you cancel that field trip, Ellen. I say cancel the field trip. You got enough trouble without it. Yeah, Grandma's right. Cancel the trip. <laughs> don't you ever get tired of being an idiot? <laughs> I'll get plenty of sleep. Mom, you just cannot cancel that field trip. Look, Katie, we all know how you feel. So chill before I hit you over the head with Lester. So, Ron, what do you think? I'll tell you exactly what I think. I think it would be a big mistake for you to risk losing your job over this issue. Ron, how can you say that? You've had to deal with prejudice every day of your life. Well, not every day of my life, Katie. But when I was younger, I tried to take on every battle. You see, I was one of the first blacks to go to my college, and I was always getting in stupid, pointless fights and arguments. And the only thing I accomplished was getting suspended for a semester. If you try to fight every little battle, you take yourself out of the big ones. Look, Ellen, if you lose your job over this, those kids, they lose you as a teacher, and you lose everything you've built up for eight years. This is not a matter of principle. It's a matter of pride. I just don't feel it's worth it. I hear you, Ron. I do. I, I just don't know what to do, really. I'll tell you what to do. Cancel a trip. Divorce the truth fairy. Grab the silver and let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> this is a very difficult decision, but no matter what happens, I just want you all to know that I love each and every one of you, and if I do have to leave, I just... I guess I just hope we can all keep in touch. <laughs> I think it's gonna be even harder with the kids. Hey, Whitey. Hey, where's the mouse? Where's the mouse? Whitey? Whitey? Ah. Uh, <laughs> Ellen, 
Oh, I was just looking for a mouse that got loose. Oh, well, I think we have more important matters to deal with at the moment. <laughs> Honey, why don't you play while I talk to Ellen? Well, I'm so glad you came down here. I, I wanted to talk to you in person. Well, this is a rather serious matter, and well, I didn't want to seem as though I was hiding behind him. <laughs> I understand your position. I, I really do. Oh, I'm so glad. I just, I, I hope you understand mine. You understand hers, Ellen. That's all that's important. <laughs> Norbert, will you get down from that table? No, 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 I'm uh, fine up here. It gives me a good overview of the situation. <laughs> Ellen, I, I think I do understand your position. You made a personal choice in your life, and that's your privilege. Thank you. But my concern is that uh, we don't want to expose the children to things that they might be too young to understand. What's to understand? This is a family. People of two different races. So what? Well, obviously we're not going to see eye to eye on this. Whitey! Uh, now there's no need for name calling. <laughs> no, no, it's the mouse, Whitey. Here. So, uh, I had a long talk with my family last night about this. And, uh, my husband felt very strongly that I should cancel this trip and not fight this battle, and... and I agreed with him. What? Then it's settled. Let's go sign that check and build that library, hmm? But I have to tell you, uh, standing here in front of the two of you, I, uh, I just don't seem able to give in. Well, uh, what if we stood over here? <laughs> no, no. Don't worry, Norbert. I'm not going to do anything that will cost the school a library. But if it means turning my back on my family, I... I really have no choice but to quit. Well, no, 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 Ellen. Uh, don't... don't get all melodramatic on us. Well, yes, there's no reason to resort to threats. Oh, and you know all about threats, don't you, Miss Kelly, uh... What is it? I'm not going to donate $250,000 to the new library unless the field trip is canceled. Their child. Right. <laughs> what? Mommy. I want you and Ellen to stop fighting. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. It's just grown-up stuff. I know why you're fighting. It's because you don't want me to grow up and marry a man like Ellen's husband. <laughs> Jessica. Do you understand what this is about? Yeah, but I don't get it. What's so bad about marrying a dentist? <laughs> Just one half hour from now, Blake and Antoine from Men on Film, Anton and many more of your favorite characters are going to make you laugh out loud. Well, touch me in the morning and then just walk away. It's the best of In Living Color. Now, stay tuned for Parker Lewis Can't Lose, next.